How's it going everyone, Miguel Quiles here. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the 10 things that I think that you need to know about Sony's new ZV-1 camera. It's actually the camera that I'm using to film this video right now using the internal audio uh, from that camera. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. Before we get this video started, I want to ask you to take a moment to subscribe to my channel, put out new content here every single week talking about photography, uh, content creation in general. And if that's something that you're into, make sure that you subscribe. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the first thing that I think that you need to know. And it's probably the headline about the ZV-1 is the fact that Sony has finally implemented a flip screen and not the type where the camera flips up or the screen flips up from the top. It's actually flipping out to the side. And so uh, that's a very welcome thing that I know that vloggers and content creators have been asking for for some time. And it is here with the ZV-1. Now, obviously that's kind of the, the big headline is the fact that this is the first pocket camera that does that. But there's a lot more to this camera that I think that you need to know because obviously just adding a flip screen is not going to make this um, the you know content creators camera of choice so there's some other features here that I think that you're gonna love that's gonna make content creation easy so let's go into number two in at number two on my list of things that you need to know about the ZV-1 is your grip options now many vloggers and content creators are used to basically using one of these uh, Joby Gorillapod and uh, they were really great because you're able to flex it and kind of put it into different scenarios to hold up your camera but what it didn't have was the ability for you to actually control the camera. So you'd still have to touch the camera to start and stop recording and things of that nature. Now, with some of Sony's older cameras, they were able to use uh, this grip, which you can notice it's a small uh, hand grip that connects through a uh, micro USB. And then control wise, you have your uh, zoom rocker to zoom in and out. Uh, you could start and stop recording and then you could also take photos with the grip now the new zv1 if you get the vlogger kit you get this grip and you're going to notice this grip is quite a bit bigger you have that same start and stop recording you have your zoom rocker uh, you have your uh, custom button so right now by default this is set up to defocus your background but of course you can set that to whatever you like in the settings then you can lock the buttons so you don't accidentally uh, you know, push any buttons on your grip. So you'll notice if I hold the two side by side, pretty big difference. The other thing you're gonna notice is one has a cable, the old one. Uh, the new one doesn't have any cables and that's because you're able to actually start and stop recording using Bluetooth. So you set it up with the uh, camera, you pair the two together and you have pretty much complete control over your camera using this uh, grip that you can get in the vlogger kit. So that's in at number two. In at number three on my list of things that you need to know about the ZV-1 is the internal audio that's built in. You have a directional three capsule microphone, which does a fantastic job. You're actually hearing it now throughout this video. I'm filming this with the internal audio on the ZV-1, and I think it does a fantastic job. Now, why is that important? Well, if you're a vlogger or you're a content creator, Usually you end up having to take a lot of equipment with you. You gotta take your camera, your lights, your audio, all of this kind of stuff at times will make it a little bit more complicated for you to just pull your camera out and start filming content because now you have to get all these other uh, pieces of equipment ready. Now with the new ZV-1, you can capture really good quality audio and so good in fact that you may wanna consider just leaving some of those uh, audio products back home and just record using that internal microphone. So that's one of the things that I think that is really, really cool about the ZV-1. But you know, there are going to be times when you may want to get better quality audio. And that's going to take us to number four. Okay, so in at number four on my list of things that you need to know is that the ZV-1 has a multi-interface shoe. And that is really awesome for a number of different reasons. Now, obviously on the content creation side of things, you can use this multi-interface shoe to connect uh, external microphones like microphones from Rode, uh, from Deity. You can use Sony's microphone solutions like the XLR K3M uh, and a bunch of other different microphone accessories. You do have a microphone jack built into the camera and so you're able to use microphones with your ZV-1 which is really handy. Um, but one of the other things that's super handy that I really love is the fact that now I could use 
this portable camera as an option when I go out and do my photo shoots. With this multi-interface shoe, I can use my uh, transmitters from Sony, from Profoto. Uh, if you're a Godox shooter and you have the remote or Westcott shooter, you can use these different remotes to trigger your off-camera flash using your ZV-1. So it's not just a powerful option for vloggers and for content creators, but it's a really cool option for photographers who are wanting to do off-camera flash with their small camera. The next thing on my list of things that you might want to know about the ZV-1 is the color science. And they've actually done something really awesome where they've taken this color science that they got uh, from working with Hollywood filmmakers uh, and they put that into the Sony Venice camera and it slowly trickled down into different cameras like the A9 II, the A7R4, the A6400, just to name a few off the top of my head. But what's really cool is that now they have it in this camera, the ZV-1. So what do you get with this new re-engineered color science? Well, you're gonna get better colors, uh, you're gonna get skin tones that look a lot better. And so these are all things that if you're a content creator or you're a vlogger, you're really gonna enjoy about the new ZV-1 is the fact that you do have re-engineered color science that's coming all the way from the top with the Sony Venice. The next thing that I think that you need to know about the ZV-1 are the recording modes. Now, of course, since you're gonna be shooting content for YouTube or for social media, uh, you're gonna be shooting video. And so how, uh, what settings do you get? You have uh, HD in 24, 30, 60, and 120 frames a second. You have 4K video in 24P and 30P, but of course it doesn't end there. You have a built-in intervalometer, so if you wanted to shoot time lapses and kind of put those together in post-production, uh, the intervalometer feature that's built into the camera will easily allow you to set up that time lapse. But you also have a feature called S and Q, which stands for slow and quick. So let's say, for example, you didn't want to bother with going into your post-production software to uh, stitch together all of these photos to create the time lapse. The camera actually will create the time lapse. You can shoot it and then it stores the file on your SD card and it's already been uh, put together, right? So you could already see that time lapse effect. You don't have to stitch it together in post. So something that comes in handy. Um, you also have high frame rate shooting. So if you wanted to shoot, shoot in a very slow motion type of way, you could shoot up to 960 frames per second using the ZV-1, which I think is outstanding. Um, so these are all the different modes that are available on the ZV-1 and it gives creators a lot of flexibility when they're looking to shoot content with this camera. Next up, we're gonna talk about picture profiles. Now, many cameras, when you're uh, in this segment of vlogging camera, they usually just have like a single picture profile mode, which is just their basic default color. Uh, with the ZV-1, you have the ability to shoot in a variety of different picture profiles like S-Log2, S-Log3. There's a variety of HLG uh, picture profiles, which allow you to shoot in HDR. So you have the ability to be able to shoot something in just a basic color if you wanted to, or if you wanted to kind of uh, make something look a little bit more cinematic and make it look better, you can use picture profiles to be able to uh, capture a flatter color in camera and then go into post, whether you're using Final Cut or Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and you can basically create your own uh, lookup table, which is called a LUT, and you can bake in whatever colors it is that you want onto your files to make it look more cinematic and make it more you. So really awesome feature. The fact that you can change picture profiles in this camera, I think will be a game changer for the mobile filmmaker, vlogger, or content creator. Up next on my list of things that you need to know about this camera has to do with the optics. Now you have a Zeiss uh, Vario Sonar T-Star coating on this lens. It shoots anywhere from f1.8 up to 2.8. And of course it's a 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent lens. So at the widest end, at 24 millimeter, you could shoot at f1.8. And as you zoom in, uh, at the max zoom of 70 millimeters, you're gonna be at an f2.8. Of course, you could be higher than that if you want, but that's really cool because you have the ability to get a really nice shallow depth of field using this smaller camera. You also have a built-in ND filter, which I think is super useful. If you're outdoors, you wanna shoot at f1.8 or at f2.8, but let's say it's just a little bit too bright. You have an ND filter that's built in to kind of cut out some of that light. And this is a feature that I think that people are really gonna love when they get out there and start using this camera. 
The next thing that I think that you need to know is this face priority auto exposure. It's a feature that the ZV-1 uses to make sure that your face, uh, the exposure on your face stays the same no matter what the lighting situation is. Now normally with uh, different cameras you would have to change that manually as you go, uh, but with the ZV-1 it actually does it automatically. Um, and it's using eye autofocus, so check this out. Right now I'm at ISO 4000, f1.8 at a 50th of a second. I'm gonna start to make my way out the door and I want you to notice that as I do this, the exposure on my face doesn't really change. And I'm walking through a variety of different lighting scenarios. You can see the lighting setup that I've been using to uh, light this video. And then walking out the front door. And uh, yeah, it's raining outside, uh, but you know, we're outdoors and you guys notice that as I walk through these different scenarios, right now I'm at ISO 160, F4.5 at a 50th of a second. And um, the camera did all of that by itself. I didn't have to go and, you know, change settings or do anything of that nature. So I think this is a feature that a lot of vloggers, content creators, you're gonna do this all the time. You're gonna be shooting in a restaurant or you're gonna be in a building and then you're gonna go outdoors. You don't have to mess with your settings anymore. The camera does it for you on the ZV-1. The next thing on my list of things that you need to know about the ZV-1 is this background defocus feature. What they've done is they've mapped the custom button one or the C1 button on top of the camera or the C1 button that's on the grip that I'm currently holding. And when you push that button, it will blur your background. But what's awesome is that it's not going to change the exposure on my face. So if for some reason there was something distracting happening in the background, I could simply push the C1 button as I'm about to do right now. And uh, that will defocus the background. So take a look over my shoulder here. That's kind of blurry in the background. If I push the button again, it goes back to being in focus. Here's blurry and back in focus. And really easy to do just by pushing that button and you can bring the attention right back to you as the presenter. So that was the 10 things that I think that you needed to know about Sony's new ZV-1 camera. If you guys have any questions about it, please leave it in the comments section below. Uh, I do have the camera, so I will be able to go back and uh, create a follow-up video, answer any specific questions you have. Leave it in the comments section. While you guys are down there, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel as I come out with new content every single week and uh, you'll have the, the opportunity to have that question featured in that upcoming video. So uh, definitely make sure you do that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.